everybody. I reckon I'm pretty good. You good? Welcome back to episode two of Red Eye Retro. Um, we're going to be playing a new game for you. Well, a new old game. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm the one that's going to be playing this time. I reckon uh, it's going to be a new adventure. Yes. We're going to play from 1992, I think. The very first ever video game that I ever owned when I was a kid. Um, we're going to play Hook. We gonna listen to Blues Traveler? No. We're gonna play Hook, the video game. Based on the movie Hook. Oh, I remember that one. That one was where Petrie Pan grows up to be Robin Williams. Yes. And Captain Hook grows up to be Dustin Hoffman. Reckon first before he did that, he grew up to be Rain Man. And then they sent Rain Man to the nervous hospital and made him well. And then he became Dustin Hoffman. And then Captain Hook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something like that. It's a good one. Y'all like is. it. All right. Okay, so are we ready? I reckon I might be. All right, I think I'm ready too. All right, here we go. Then. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Show it to us, our hobbit. All right. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I tell when you don't go to school. Well, yeah, but that's not what that said. Oh. Now look, you're missing the story. Oh, I'm sorry about See, that. Jack and Maggie have to go to bed, but Maggie's asking if their grandma's the real Wendy. I reckon this one's in type. It is. It's in text. That's what I said. Type. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Pan's Adventures a made up story? Well, that's what they're trying to figure out. Oh. See, the kids are onto it. They know what's going on. Mm, yep. But Peter, being a grown up now, has forgotten all of it. He has no idea. Poor little fella. <laughs> Very happy the music you, you got singing? going there. Yep. You. They're not going to understand. Boy. Now they have to go to sleep. Poor little fellers. Nighttime. Oh, what's that? What is that? That's just yep. <laughs> Hooky. Hook. Mm, the <laughs> hook brings you back. No, 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 not that hook. Mm. Not Blues Traveler. Oh. There's a skleeton. Yeah. That's how you know it's a bad shit. Uh oh. Poor he's, little fellers. He's got the children's. He didn't want to kidnap them. Dear Peter. Mm -hmm. Your presence is required at the request of your children. Is that his Hogwarts letter? <laughs> he wishes that was his Hogwarts letter. I reckon. I got a Hogwarts letter, see? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got me a house. <laughs> Captain Hooky! This ain't funny, fellas. See, he thinks the kids are just playing a joke. Mm. But then... <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? That's Fink. Oh, that's... That's who? Howard Finkerdale. No. No. It is not claimed to WWE announcer Howard Finkel. It is... Tinker Bell. That's what I said, Finkerdale. Oh, so she's trying to get Peter to go with her to Neverland to save the kids. The fella looks like he done got a drink of some bucky. <laughs> he says he ain't having none of it. Yeah. Everybody knows about them. Because mm -hmm. they were taken by Hook. Okay. <laughs> He's pretty popular in Neverland. Yeah. Put that away. <laughs> No, put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Look, Peter can't fly. Poor little fella. He doesn't remember how. You gotta have him a happy thought. Well, yeah, but I mean, look at it. Does he look like he has a happy thought? I got happy thought. French fried taters with mustard <laughs> on them. That makes me happy. That actually kind of makes me happy too. Mm -hmm. All yep. right, so she, she loaded him up. Take him. Off they go. Come on, little fella. Now, let's get this shindig started. <laughs> It's the Lost Boys. Vampires! We can't be doing vampires this week. No, we did vampires last week no, with Dracula, no, remember? No, not that Lost Boys. Oh. Not the Cry Little Sister Lost Boys. Oh. The Neverland Lost Boys. The boys that never grew up. Michael Jackson's house? No, God, no. Not Michael. And poor Lost Boys, poor little fellers. They'd have had fun sometime. He oh. worked out to done that. They was just boys? Yep. Yeah. 
Anyway. Anyway, look, there's Rufy. See, What's we up? talked about Michael Jackson, and now we got no, Rufy's. Rufio. Hot Cosby. When I was a kid, I always thought that Rufio looked like your classic villain from the cartoons. All he needed was the twirly mustache. He kind of looked like A.C. Slater a little bit. Like, what's funny, well, in the movies he does, but when I was a kid, like, I played this video game before I watched the movie. Oh. So when I watched the movie for the first time and saw who Rufio really was, I was like, he looks nothing like what he does on the video game. He done game. changed into Patriot, look at that. Well, yeah, he's got to do his training now. He has to remember how to do his stuff. Got to remember how to be the Pam. Yep. Got a diagree. <laughs> I reckon he's a pretty good acrobat to be old Robin yeah. Williams. You reckon Robin Williams can turn a cartwheel like that when he made this movie? Maybe. If he had enough cocaine. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. So yeah, the Lost Boys don't trust Peter Pan right now. They don't think that he's the actual fan. Well, I wouldn't trust him neither with them vampire things and shit. Not not vampire. Oh, I reckon you're right. They went yeah. out in the daytime. He got fairy winkle dust. Yep. They can fly around some. That, that was on a skateboard. Went and he helped. Got a slash out. Yeah, he Must does be a Guns N' Roses fan. Mm -hmm. In the cold November. Oh, I done fucked this up. I have so fucked up. Oh, bikes. I died. You sure you're good at this game, Cletus? I Cletus? mean... I mean, hobby. <laughs> Call me Cletus? I might have. I'm gonna have, like, 42 different names by the time this is over. Mm. Maybe one of our fans can write them all down and leave them in the comment section below. Maybe we'll give out a prize or something for it. Don't rightly know what, but we might. I thought that fish was gonna get me for a second. Speaking of prizes, you want to check out the Rave Cave. We give out prizes and shit. We're good folk that way. We are. We give yeah. away team cards. Games every now and again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we give away in, in the Discord server items and stuff. You'll like it. If you're ever interested in our Discord server, just ask. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know all about it. I reckon they're probably more interested in figuring out if you actually know how to play this game or hobby. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out together, I guess. I've been waiting my whole life. You didn't. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Maximum effort. Yeah. Did you shit yourself again? A little. Okay. I'm sorry, hobby. It's okay. Now, listener, we're going to have to pull out the graphic already in the second episode again. No. Please no, stand the graphic, by. The graphic can stay. We will edit together all of your playthroughs. <laughs> That's not very funny. I can do this, I swear. We'll ask your viewers, was that a good one? They will probably say yes. They might. Might have some trolls in the audience. Well... Y'all fellas work not to be trolls. So here's what we're gonna do this time. We're not gonna worry about those lives. You sure you've been using them? I'm good. Know where to find some more of them? Oh yeah. Alright, Tim. Trust me, by the end of this I'll have plenty. Alright, Tim. Hey look, there's Rufy. Yeah. He's gonna yeah, my sword. Hot Cosby. Give him a hot Cosby. Wait on it. That was it? That was the end of the, that stage, yeah. And that feller took your place? Yeah. That feller is not like A.C. Slater. No. Yeah. <laughs> A.C. Slater. So check it out. He realizes he sucks. I win. Here, have my sword. Poor little feller. <sighs> now remember. He looks like a red rooster. cock a doodle -doo. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, I see it. Kind of. Kind of. If anybody knows who the Red Rooster is, congratulations. You're a child of the 80s. Yep. Yeah. All of my references is outdated because okay. I'm old. Look, here's the map. So that's where we are now. These yeah. are all the different stages that we have to go to. All right, Jen. Everywhere where there's a flag. And then at the end of it's Dracula's Plantation House? No. Oh. At the end of it is Hook's Ship. 
then we have to go fight him. It's Clayton Head Rock! Are you sure you're named Hercules Plantation? I'm sure. I mean, it might be off on the uh, next island or something. Hey, is this Zelda? No, this is not Zelda. You sure I see you shooting your sword? I don't remember Petri Pan being able to do that. Well, there might be some Zelda-like uh, inspiration behind this game, but... There was Sonic. <laughs> there used to be a cartoon about Sonic, what I'd watch in a nervous hospital. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Used to be alright. Did they ever let you watch Hook in the nervous hospital? No, but they let me watch this one Petri Pan cartoon. It was called Petri Pan and the Pirates. I reckon it had Tim Curry, he grew up to be Captain Hook in that one. Right? And that was pretty good. I reckon a nervous hospital was an interesting place. Sounds like it. I reckon a lot of people tell me I talk about it might too much, but I spent the first 25 years of my life in there. I reckon I got a lot of stories. Plus they made you well, so you know. Mm, one of these nights, I will sit down and I'll make a video and I'll tell you all about being in a nervous hospital. Okay. And then I won't talk about it ever again. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> I won't. I promise you. Uh -huh. Make a solemn vow. A solemn vow. Mm, that ain't something a feller does lightly. No. Mm -hmm. I well. reckon he's got good condition and likes to jog and sit. But <laughs> I'm telling you, Dracula's out here in this Romanian forest summers. It's possible. If I see a um. Roller coaster or a giraffe, I'm gonna know you're at the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> you know you've been fibbing to me this whole time. No, you're actually is... playing a game called Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. We were to play it on this show. Do they have Michael Jackson's Moonwalker? You ain't never played that? Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. <laughs> no, I haven't. Guess what? We're gonna play soon, fellas. <laughs> okay, look, boss fight. You ain't never played the Moonwalker. <laughs> we sure what a good game's all about. So I'm not sure why you're fighting Sasquatch. Sasmo. Yes. No. Sa Sasquatch. Sasmo. Sasmo was a trumpet player, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know. We came to a conclusion on that. <laughs> he is either a trumpet player or he is a cryptozoological creature out there in the woods and shit. Uh huh. Out there in the forest of Romania, like where you're at. I'm telling you, there might be what? a Satchmo in there. Why is everywhere in the forest of Romania? Look at it. That is totally Romania. This is Neverland. This is this is that forest where folks go to kill themselves in Romania. I thought that was right. in China. There's one in Japan, too. Y'all write in and tell us about the one in Romania. What's it called? We're going to have a lot of comments on this video because I keep asking questions to folks. Hey, look. There's some vampire feathers you run around with. The Lost Boys. That's what I said. Yeah. Look, there's Double every land. phoenix right there. Which one? That big one on the end. <laughs> Thud butt? Ass butt. No. Look, now we're in the mountain. That fella is super strong. You better watch out. He's so strong, I hit him twice. He'll hit you with his over the shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard it called that before. That's what I heard it called once. Reckon you shouldn't have nope. let. Oh, you See done lost your sword. You won't have this guy. You done lost your biggin'. What good did that do? You didn't get back your biggin'. That's okay. There's another one on this level. You promise? I promise. I hope so. Poor little. What the hell is that? Some kind of Venus fairy trap. See, only to be found in the forest of Romania. <laughs> this game must have used all of their budget on their music. This game really does have some happening music. It does. You got some happening visuals, too. Who made this game? You know who Sony. made it? Sony. Yeah. Reckon them fellas went on to make a PlayStation. Reckon they're pretty good in Image soft. Mm, yep. So now check this out. I do. Hey, look, are you making? I'm gonna lose it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. 
There will be more. That better shoot, Nancy. Oh, Jesus. So when do you find a lamp? What? The Robin Williams lamp that you find and you get the genie and the wishes. Are you talking about Aladdin? And that one where you ride the carpet and yes. there's um, Jafar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're... That's a different game. You don't grow up to be the genie? Why are, we, why are we still playing this if you don't grow up to be the genie? I thought we're used flying and such that was you're gonna evolve into him or no. gonna, Evolve? Yes, what is he a Pokemon now? No, sir, he gets in a cocoon like him buttery flies and shit. And then he becomes a genie and a lamp. Here in a minute you're gonna find a cocoon and there's gonna be a lamp in it, I promise you. <laughs> we do know that they uh they had an Aladdin video game. They did. Oh yeah. All Cat about Kong. the genie. Well, I mean, there's a whole level, like, just in the Jenny's lamp. I bet that's pretty trippy. It's, it's neat. That, that also, I also had that game when I was a kid. So. Probably ought not to use no psychedelics when you do that. And... No. No. Hey, look, there's another man. I'm up to eight males now. There's them lost boys. Ta-da. Only part of them, though. Where'd the rest of them go? They, didn't, they couldn't make the club. They didn't get kidnapped, did they? No. You sure? I'm sure. I did. Alright, back to your map. So that was the third level. I did. So now we're on the fourth level. Alright, yeah. that's that's numbers. Are they great gnome reels? No. <laughs> I did. Another man. Get her. So you gotta watch that tiger. See that? That tiger breathes fire. Yes. And if that fire hits you. He's heard a son. That's like a Medusi! Yeah. Are you sure it's ain't gas leave out I'm here? sure. Despite the uh So we're sure it's hey this kind of looks like Mario 2. Are you sure it's not Mario 2? I'm sure. Yeah, I reckon you're right. You can't fly in Mario. Well, you might be the princess. No, is that that's not a princess. Are you sure? Yes. If it's Michael Jackson, it might be. No, that is a speed of pan. P3 pan. Bags. Yeah, don't hit those. Mm -hmm. Balloons. Compeller just sent an extra man's at you. Oh, I reckon that one exploded. Wasn't no extra man. Killed that one. Yeah. I reckon somebody was good enough to teach Petrie Pan how to swim. Yeah. When he was in unlike, a nervous hospital. Uh, unlike Carl Simon Belmont. That's right, that fella can't swim. This is getting to be ridiculous. <laughs> Why do you say that? There's explosives and shit everywhere. You're going to die. Oh, God. That lady tried to kill you. That's a mermaid. She tried to kill you. I was watching her. Poor little fella. There's a cherry. Is this Pac-Man? No. Are you sure? I'm what? sure. There's some Hanks going to get you. We're still playing Hook, I promise. There's some Hanks going to get you. Spikes. Where's the Hanks? I reckon that's a blue one. What's his name? I don't know. Clyde. <laughs> oh. Clyde. Clyde the Hanks. Get your power pellet, fellas. <laughs> you did it. Better get out in there. Can't yet. Poor little fellers. Yeah, I can. Hey, look, there's other ones. They made it. Mm -hmm. That's right, stage four. You're pretty good at this game, huh, man? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So where are you and Bosco and Clyde going now? One in this cave. The snake in there. There's several snakes in here. I guess music sounds like Harry Potter. -y. Hey, no. This was in the movie. Mm, yep. You're in Diagonal Alley. <laughs> Diagon Alley? That's what I said, Diagonal Alley. You're ridiculous. This is 
is actually music that was in the movie. <laughs> Not Harry Potter. Are Traveler? No. Wait a minute. You're talking about them fellers what saying freaking at the Freakers Mall. What? <laughs> Dr. Hutton. No. What? I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Dr. Hook is? No. Well, there's gonna be a Freakers Ball. Well, I mean, I've heard the song. Hi, <laughs> Jim. Look here. Megan! That's as good as having a big whip. That's what it said, I heard it. I was listening. I've been paying attention to you, play hard, but I've been very respectful. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's the end of that one. No lost boys this time. They're afraid of the dark. I think she's cheating, fellas. Yeah. Just because I made it past the fourth stage in my game. This season of Red Eye Retro ain't over yet, woman. That's true. Yeah. Oh, look at this no way I sleep over here. This is one of my favorite levels in the whole game. Also, I guess that means you're gonna go through it without getting hit one time, and it? Not necessarily. <laughs> but it is, it's a fun level, it's a pretty level. Okay, fellers, y'all start taking bets in the comment section. Is this fella here gonna make it through here without getting hit one time? Y'all let us know. Nope. <laughs> you didn't do maximum effort. I didn't want to poop my pants. But that's how you win. Getting over TG. Hey, that fella shot out an extra man. He did. Birds and tickeries. Who knew that a green lead hard would be so aerodynamic? Right? I'm gonna put me one on, go outside and jump me a flip, and see if I just float down to earth all slow like angelic like a gazelle. Like a gazelle? That's right. He does have quite the uh, quite the hang time when he jumps, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Tony Hawk couldn't have done no better. There's some fellers. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> Killing Listen, fellers you ought not to kill. When I was a kid, I clocked a lot of hours playing this game. You'd have had fun sometimes. <laughs> When I was growing up, only had three video games. So what you gonna do with all these riches? Give them to the Lost Boys, I guess. What are they gonna do with them? I don't know. Use them to buy video games? Maybe. Who's this fella? Some guy. I don't know. He's a pirate. Sent to stop me. In my quest. To reclaim my children. Poor little fella. He wasn't very effective. No. There's Donald's other one. Which one? The blonde one. Kiefer Sutherland? That's what I say, it, Donald Sutherland. See, now you're you getting me confused. Stop. What? I'm trying to tell you about Donald Duck. <laughs> what? Daffy! Calm down now. Alright, Dan. We're this having fun here, ain't we? It's funny you should say that. Because this is my least favorite level in the whole game. But you're out there in the Romanian forest again. <laughs> you gotta is... be getting close to Dracula's plantation house now. I feel no. like we've been trying to do it for a week. I'm a little more convinced all the time that you don't realize we're playing a different video game this week. <laughs> so when you don't get your whip? I, I don't get a whip. Why not? 
Because this is not Castlevania 4! I can't hop it. I'm sorry for that. It's okay. Alright. You don't have to hide, it's okay. I reckon I done been yelled at. There's one good thing about this level. Boom. Biggin. Got my biggin back. So who does Blues Traveler have to fight at the end of this one? Cookie. Cookie. But there ain't. I don't see nobody there except a bunch of little fellers. Hey, is that oh, Zack you... Ryder? Yes. Woo, woo, woo. You love it. Fly. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there was no bad guy at the end of that stage. I thought you were talking about the end of the whole game. See, see this little... Yeah. He's my light source. But he also hurts. So... Well, I don't reckon that's any good. He's a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. I see it's kind of... I know it's ain't Hogwarts, but... It kind of reminds me of that when you got your little floating flame and such. Like they got in the cafeteria. <laughs> cafeteria? Mm-hmm. Ain't that where they eat at? Well, yeah. That's where we used to eat at in the nervous hospital. I used to trade my salad all the time for PB&J. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like a good PB&J. Yep. Hey, how about we have us one next week on the show? I mean, we could. Mm -hmm. We'll eat us a PB&J and we play a different game. Already got it picked out for you, but I can't tell you yet. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. We're just full of surprises. I'm full of something. <laughs> You're full of something, Hobbit. Hey. What? So are you trying to go down or up or left or right? I don't get it. All of it. All of the above. What? <laughs> you just kind of follow along. I don't reckon Neverland makes no sense. We are going progressively farther down. While we down zig and zag. Glass. Did you say down the looking glass? Mm -hmm. Isn't it through the looking glass? One of the other ones down the looking glass through the rabbit hole. Through the hobbit hole. It's, uh, yeah. In the hole in the ground there lived the hobbit. That's right. It's Clayton and he's throwing boners! I yes. told you it was Castlevania! It is oh, Castlevania. This is not Castlevania. It is a Nintendo conspiracy. Y'all write in and tell us. Did they rip off Castlevania when they made Hookie? All they gotta do is give this fella a whip and take away his flight powers. And you've got Carl Simon Belmont with a better hairdo. <laughs> Look at him, he's done he's done got some sheen and some shine. Pomade. Ow! Spikes. Sleep! Boner. Hey Hobbit. Yes. Did you know you got a million dozen tiny little boners on your hat? I, yeah, I was aware. You're yelling in my ear. Sorry for that. <laughs> Are you supposed to be a pirate? Ma oh, maybe a pirate ripoff. I dodged. I'm sorry for that. I'm distracting. I got hit by a boner. A boner? Yeah. Poor little boner. <laughs> I didn't start talking about boners. See, you get to talking about boners and she gets all distracted. Just like last week. Listen here. Well, I have to let a few of them fellers live so you don't see all them boners flying around. You need to calm it down, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I ought to learn to behave some. Running, running. Is this Forrest Gump? No, sir, Forrest no. Gump's there wasn't ever that nice. <laughs> There's a Skleeton head. There's a bunch of Skleeton heads. A lot of them, yeah. This place it's a nasty is cave. Yeah. Wait. Little boner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ouch. Poor little filler, you lost your big one. Apple. I 
I didn't think you'd do a power slide. Yeah, I did do a power slide. I tried to do one of them last week and couldn't quite manage it. You had to break out the graphic for that one. What you talking about? I don't remember. Oh, I mean you. What? What? Anyway. Now we gotta go down here. And oh look, amidst all the uh, skeletons and snakes and haints and spiders and there's there's pirates. Pillars. Look at how I bit Tony Frog. Yep. You get to dangle on him. Well, I don't have a whip, so I can't dangle on him. Oh. Well, somebody or to told you to bring you whip. Do you dagger fight her? Peter Pan doesn't need a whip. Do you know how much help a Catholic approved and breast Indiana Jones whip feels? Yep. Quite a bit, I'm sure. Them Zach Ratties there on them uh, barrels, they can't <laughs> hurt you if you got a whip. You just dangle on them some and take care of them. Poor little fellers. That's my Sage video game advice. Dangle on them, son. <laughs> and what do you notice? What do you notice? It's Cleeton Heads, and it's it's light down here with that fella up there. He ain't right. following you no nope. more. Even he's afraid. You're in Cleeton Head Rock! Oh god, and that fella's got a Cleeton Head and it's chasing you! You ain't never gonna survive this hobbit. Oh yeah? Yeah. Watch me. You've got to be very fleet of foot to do this, I reckon. I think we're going to have to change the name of Boom. the show to Speed Runs. Poor little confused fellas. And oh, look, just hanging out. Why we didn't they the help boys. you with the They don't help. They're, they're useless. They're my cheerleaders. They're my support group. They just hang out and go, yay. Except sometimes when it takes you a couple times to go through the level, you get to the end, they don't say hey, they just stand there and glare at you. Poor little fellas. Now we're in Pirate Town. Is this where Elstorm lives? Yes, this is where Elstorm lives. Neat. Elstorm is a good metal band y'all want to check out. They're a bunch of pirate fellas. It is pirate metal and it is awesome. That's right. And fellas, sell us seven seas. Reckon every once in a while they go to Mexico to have a party. And go down in there and they drink tequila and such. They have fun sometimes. Reckon. You ever been to Mexico, Hobbit? No. Have you ever been to Mexico? Just one time. Oh gosh. I went down there to Chiapas. There's these fellers down there by the name of the Zapatistas. Uh huh. And they inducted me. And I became part of their brotherhood uh -huh. to help fight for their independence against the large corporate sharecroppers that come down in there and they take the indigenous folks' land. Bastards. <laughs> so I went down in there and helped them out some. Well, that was nice. Yep. It all sounds very suspect. Well, I can't talk about much of what it did because much of it wasn't very legal. Uh huh. Yep. But anyway, me and them fellers. Um, why did you strike a pose on the catwalk, Herschel? Because I'm on the very edge. That's what he, that's how he stands when he's right on the edge of something. Like Mickey Mouse? Yeah, kind of. Looking that's what he looks like, Mickey Mouse. Almost missed that tiara. Was there a toddler in it? No. <laughs> what? Why do you keep breaking character there, Hobbit? This is part of my character. I am a character. I don't make no sense. <laughs> you don't make no sense. That's a double entendre negative. What? What? <laughs> That's my line. Look, crap's about to get crazy over here, okay? Thanks. Just letting you know. Run away quick, Hobbit! I'm trying. That was harrowing. It was. Yeah. They're throwing away their maid. What in the hell? Are those the hobbits? Now you remember the, uh, the, the boulders down. and the snowballs. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that guy. 
that throws barrels now. Why does that fella just throw things all the time? Anybody teach him not to do it? He's just a boy. Nobody taught him not to. Yeah. Send him to a nervous hospital and teach him. Reckon I had this one nurse. She'd teach him some manners. Or some health up or something. This one. That's a good one. See now, if uh, I had made it all this way and hadn't filled up my little power all the way to the four, mm -hmm. that would have given me another little one. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now where you gotta go, Hobby? Back through this. Oh, you fell on I this fell. bag. Yeah. This is rough to get through. Hi, right, Dan. <laughs> you want me to cross my fingers? Please. Okay. Did you make it? I made it. Hey, look. I'm a bird. boss fight. Is that me? No, that is not me. You sure? That is some gray fellow. Gandalf? No. Yeah, it's Gandalf. He done got one of the eagles to come help him. <laughs> He's got his white staff. He's gonna whack you with it. Gandalf, you ought not to be acting that way. I don't think that's Gandalf. I'm sure it's Gandalf. I've seen that movie. I think you're confused. I think Ow. you're confused. You're gonna let Gandalf kill you. You ought not to do it. Oh, no. You just get one more. That's pretty good there, Hobbit. Thank I'm you. I'm for sure Gandalf is gonna get you. He didn't get me. No, sir. There's the Lost Boys again. Poor little vampire fellas. <laughs> you reckon if they kill the head vampire, they'll go back to being human? <sighs> anyway. I do. <laughs> Guess where we're going now? Let me show you. Okay. What is that? That's a ship. That's a ship. Whose ship is that? Hookies! That's, that's right. It's a hooky ship. Yep. Yeah, poor little feller. What do you mean, poor little feller? I mean, poor little feller. He grew up to be Rain Man and then Dustin Hoffman, and he had to go to the nervous hospital. And I've been to the nervous hospital. That's not something you want to wish on a feller. <laughs> you only have to go to the hospital if you're a mite nervous. Sometimes they can make you well, sometimes they can't. Exit. Yep. Oh look! It's everybody's favorite strongman. Howdy, feller. And his workout partner. Hans and Franz. Yes. Let me pump you off. Yep. That's pretty slick there, Hobbit. Thank you. I didn't worry about him. Spikes. A lot of spikes. So where's Hooky heading? You'll see. He's down in here. Is this the aft cargo hold? Yes. Yeah, I heard that on Star Trek one time. Star Trek? Did they let you watch Star Trek in the nervous hospital? Yes, sir. <laughs> I reckon my nurse I was telling you about, uh -huh. she had her a crush on that William Shatner. Oh, okay. Yep. See, if I was going to have a... Oh, this is a bad part. Every once in a while, they wouldn't let me watch it because I'd call my doctor Bones. He used to get so pissed off about that. He'd say, yeah. What do you know? Yep. Spikes. A lot of spikes. So when do you get to that part where you gotta swing on that rope? And if you fall, you fall on the spikes and there's Medusies. Well, we probably get to that part whenever we're playing the right game. Hi, Jim. This ain't it. Oh, this must be a different way of Greek numerals. I finally figured it out. <laughs> no. Yep. This is not Castlevania at all. It's like part eight. Almost Dracula takes Manhattan.
26 lives. Are you sure you ain't cheating, Herschel? Oh, good. Does it look like I'm cheating? You are making it look a mite easy. <laughs> I remember back in the day, it used to take us six years to master a game like this. Well, yeah, but I've been playing this game since I was eight years old. In a nervous hospital, if we were playing this here, we all get out of the nervous hospital before we was done playing it. So you never did beat it? They'd say we were well. <laughs> did they ever let you come back to try to beat it? No, sir. I don't reckon. Oh, no, it's Hook! That's Dustin Helfman. How you going to beat him? Looks to me oh. like he's going to take your head off there. Are you sure you beat this game before? Poor Dustin Helfman. Your bully had an old man there, Hooky. Oh, he got me. He turned you back into the genie. <laughs> I'll send you back in the lamp. I'm, I'm not even... Why don't you with that fella? Because he won't go that far. We're going to push him a little harder. <laughs> Poor little fella. You're ridiculous. Sleeton! That's what I took away from this level. They're sleepers. Yes. I see now you got a power slide on him like Jack Black in that Tenacious D movie. That's right. Hooky! He's getting away. You don't want to let him get away, you just a boy. That was the tenth stage. There's only one stage left. You mean to tell me you're going to win the game? Maybe. I didn't know you could do that on this show. Yeah, sometimes. What? Look, Rufio got the kids back. He roofied the kids. <laughs> no, he got the kids back. All right, then. Now he's dead. Poor Boromir. <laughs> he's... Okay, whatever. Yeah. So now the kids that were just rescued, we're just going to fly off and leave them. They're just going to stand there. And they're in pirate towns. There's like a million pirates that can come and diddle them. Pirates like to diddle folk. Butt pirates. Butt pirates, yeah. yeah. Look it up on the Urban Dictionary, kids. We wouldn't lie don't, to you. Don't, no, don't. Y'all were not to listen to the thing I say. I'm just a boy. <laughs> Look it. Oh. Oh. So if he kills you, then what happens? Then you have to start the fight over. Then you children get taken over by that. <laughs> no, they're just, they're still hanging out. He injects them with his evil hook powers, and then they, they get possessed. And then they're Dracules too. The end. Out there in Romania. In the forest and such. You done snatched his wig, I Virgil. snatched his wig. I'll bet. The children have made it to the alligator clock. Maggie was ever confident. Poor little fella. <laughs> Peter just wants to go home. Y'all would have had fun sometime. Uh oh. Hooky! Uh oh. What's going on up here? He done broke his clock. Yep. Ah! That alligator done eat it him. He got eaten up by a crocky gator. <laughs> crocky gator. What a twist ending. I never saw that one coming. <laughs> See, this should really be called How Peter Got His Mojo Back. Wasn't that an Austin Powers movie? No. Maybe. Yes, sir, I think it was the second one. He got his mojo back and he lost it because Fat Bastard took it from him. Oh. Ow! You done broke all the equipment, Hobbit. My bad. We're going to have to edit that out. Nah, we'll leave it. I right, then. <laughs> oh, my episode, we didn't have to use a graphic with an engine. You just missed the emotional ending. I'm emotional, can't you tell? Look, there's Red Rooster Fio. Yes. 
These are the cool. Olaf, Olafson. Yeah, that, uh, birdie, quite birdie. the name. Spikes. This is how the game should have been played. This is not how I played it, but it should have been played a lot cooler. What? All oh, these yeah. awesome scenes. So when you're playing, you're supposed to pop up a bunch of fellers' names, what you can't read? <laughs> no, the moves, not the names. See, listen, there's uh, some playing some Elstorm now for you. <laughs> Winches and meat and stuff, Bell Storm sings about it's pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the uh, Sleeping guy again. Sleeping head of rock. This is, it's all convoluted, though. I'm more of a straight to the point video game player. Mm, why would you do all this? This don't make no sense. Because seeing the Andy did the same thing you did. Pretty much. Oscar. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura. No, those are wrestlers, not video game developers. Are you sure? I'm sure. I bet you I can find a Shinsuke. Well, you might can. I don't know. See, now that was a lot better. Mr. John Williams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Reckon that fellow wrote Indiana Jones music. He's written see, a lot of famous See, music. this game has Catholic-approved and blessed music. <laughs> Indiana Jones music. Indeed. Takafumi. Special thanks to Captain Hiltonius and to Punk Robin Hobbit. <laughs> Punk Robin Hobbit? Mm, Rockin' Hobbit. Tweet, tweetily date. Oh. And, and to Denise Dole. Lynn Israel. And the Rave Cave. Akira Sato. And Shinsuke Nakamura. No. See, that's what that says. 1991 no, no. and 1992. That's right. All rights reserved. And it's copyrights. Hey, look. It's just like one of Marvel movies. It's yeah. got one of them post-credit things. Glad we didn't leave the theater. Right? Yeah. Petrie, let's have us another talk here in a minute. Go on an adventure. <laughs> No, sir. My back hurts. I can't be going back there in a more tank. I need to go take some aspirin and lay down. Poor little Howard Finkerdale. <laughs> Reckon you're going to have to go make friends with Roddy Piper and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Me, I got to go be a daddy and an uncle. <laughs> but mostly a daddy. The um, That was a good one. That was good. I like it. Well, now that you've put me to shame. Yes. What? I mean, no. What? No. What? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Right, and one more thing. Next week, I will be playing. Unless you decide to play with me, because it is a two-player game. I'm not going to tell you which, and don't try to trick me. But right now, Solemn Vow, here it goes. For you fellers, and for you feller. Yes. Next week, I'm going to give it maximum effort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,